Today, we're gonna to be talking about weight loss, nutrition, and being vegan. Good video, very good video. So, let's jump in to the intro. Okay, so somehow I managed to lose six kilograms, which is about 13 pounds, just less than a stone in 30 days. There's a little bit of an echo in here, so we're gonna move somewhere else and talk about this. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, I was having about 300 to 400 grams of carbs every single day. That's almost twice the amount I have when I'm trying to diet. I always like a challenge, and I thought this would be a very good opportunity to give my body a full cleanse and eat as clean as possible. So yeah, I tried a plant-based diet for a full month. And the reason I say plant-based diet, not vegan, is because apparently vegans do it for the animals. Whereas I wasn't entirely doing it for the animals, I was doing it more as a test. So I think it would be unfair to say that I was a vegan. Now, anyone that knows anything about veganism and this topic knows that What The Health is a pro-vegan film. If you don't know what a pro-vegan film is, it means it's very biased towards veganism. It means it's kind of one-sided. But what I found most shocking was the fact that so many people came off their medications when they turned vegan for two, three, four months, and that anybody that already had health problems and had really just a bad quality of life um, turned vegan and they managed to change everything around. By the way, before we do jump into it, I just wanted to say that I actually found this diet extremely easy. I don't know if that's just because of the amount of hummus, bread, and dark chocolate I consumed during this month. Um, maybe that kept all my bad cravings at bay, but also I'm sorry for wearing a cap. Apparently it's rude, but my hair's a mess, so you just have to accept it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the positives of being vegan. Um, as I did this throughout the 30 days, I've been making constant notes about the way I'm feeling, how I'm looking, how my body's changing, and I kept a record of pretty much everything just so that I could make this video. So, I will be reading off my laptop, I'm not gonna lie about that. Bear in mind that these are my opinions, this is how my body reacted to the vegan diet, and every single person is different, please remember that. Francis, for example, did a vegan diet with me for a whole month too, and she lost no weight. My body actually responds very well to high carb, and I did obviously make a crazy amount of progress during these 30 days. Okay, so let's start with energy. Um, when we first started doing the diet, I noticed that I was having some pretty weird dreams late at night. Other than that, that was during the first week. After that, I've been sleeping like a baby. The sleep has been amazing. And because of that, I've had lots of energy throughout the day. I've had more energy than I've ever had in my life. I don't ever feel lethargic, sleepy, lazy. I don't get fatigued, really. And I feel good pretty much all day long until I go to bed. And because of that, I've been going to the gym more. I've been doing spin classes. I've been going on the treadmill. I've been going for walks. I've been doing way more exercise. Next, we're gonna cover skin. I have had occasional breakouts um, throughout the month, but I'm gonna go into that in the negatives. Positives are that I haven't had any eczema at all. And usually, I get a weird skin rash around my eyes, which is kind of related to eczema. Nobody knows what it is. I had none of it this whole week. And I did always think that that was down to dairy. Whenever I had more dairy, I would get rashes and eczema even more. So obviously, weight loss. Um, as you saw from the intro, I pretty much lost weight every single day. There was only a handful of days where my weight actually stayed the same. I know it's not advised to step on the scales every single day, and it can be quite an unhealthy habit. However, this was a test. Not only was it very interesting, but it was extremely motivating standing on the scales every day and seeing progress. Stepping on the scales first thing in the morning and seeing weight loss, it really sets you up for the day and it makes you want to continue with your diet. You know it's working for you, so you want to continue and progress with it. Obviously with a plant-based diet, you're gonna have a high carb diet. You're probably gonna have a high carb, high fat diet. And sadly, protein is gonna be low, but we'll cover that in the negatives too. So I was having about 300 to 400 grams of carbs every single day. And this is probably the reason why I had such high energy. Um, obviously a lot of my carbs were clean. They were coming from vegetables, they were coming from whole grains, coming from fruits, vegetables, all of the good stuff. Um, I was eating a lot of bread, but it was low GI bread. And I was occasionally having a bowl of porridge or a bowl of ready bread because some porridge had milk powder in it. A huge increase in the amount of fiber that I've been intaking. Um, obviously, I've eaten more fruits and vegetables this month than I've ever eaten in my whole life. That's probably, again, another reason for feeling so good. Um, 
Obviously, in fruits and vegetables, they are filled with fiber. So I've been having around 40 grams of fiber a day, whereas I know that I never ever used to hit that many grams of fiber. So obviously with higher fiber comes healthier bowel movements. And I did tell myself that I wasn't gonna cover this topic in this video, but I feel it's important to mention. Healthier bowel movements. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. So going to the toilet over this last month has been a doddle. It's just been in and out, two minutes, and the job is done. Um, that's obviously because of the high amounts of fiber and also because I haven't been consuming any meat at all. And meat takes a lot longer for the digestive system to break down. So that's why the toilet also takes a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, being a vegan, you can go in and out the toilet in about a minute or two, which is pretty good, pretty useful, I think. Okay, so negatives. Of course, with any positives, the negatives have to follow. Not really, not entirely true, I don't believe that. But, so my skin, my skin did break out occasionally. Um, I had a few days where I had really bad skin actually. And I think that is just my body's natural reaction to a change in diet. Kind of my body telling me that it's detoxing. Um, I did research it and apparently it's called vegan or vegetarian acne and that can be associated with consuming soy. Um, I tried my best not to have any soy really at all during this month. Um, I had tofu twice and that was the very first time I had tried it. It's kind of like egg whites, I wouldn't really recommend it, but a lot of vegans and vegetarians do rely on tofu and soy for their source of protein. Dry mouth, cracked lips, um, obviously that is a sign that you're low with B vitamins. Um, I think again, this is important to say, Francis was supplementing B12, um, just a spray under the tongue. Um, it's really easy to get, you can get it on Amazon. This is what it looks like. But again, I just decided I'm only doing it for 30 days and I don't think that I need the B vitamins. By the way, B vitamins aren't naturally produced in the body. You can't get them really from any sources of food other than red meat. So again, obviously I would be lacking in them. And I did have cracks around the sides of my mouth and dry lips the odd day or two. Nothing too much to worry about really. Uh, the next thing is struggle of eating out when you're being a vegan. Obviously, I'm living in Belfast at the minute. This may be different depending on where you live. For example, if you live in London or New York or somewhere like that, it's gonna be a lot easier. There's gonna be far more vegan options for you just because there's more options of everything. But whenever me and Francis went out for dinner, which you know we love doing more than anything, um, it was quite annoying. There was always vegetarian options on the menu. However, a lot of vegetarian options actually have milk or eggs or something like that in it. So we actually couldn't have that. But again, there is a positive side of it. You have to do a lot more cooking at home, which I do believe is very good for just everybody really. It's always good to cook at home. It's always good to prepare your food at home yourself. You know what's going into it. You know where it's being bought and you know all that. So cooking at home is definitely a positive. Okay, so next one, another negative low levels of protein and just low protein intake in general, not reaching your protein goal, stuff like that. Um, so, if you go to the gym, you'll know how important it is to have so many grams of protein a day, depending on your body weight, depending on your size, depending on your goal. Um, definitely plant-based diet and even a vegetarian diet, it's very hard to get your protein levels up there. You have to rely on things like beans, lentils, legumes, like, getting your protein from vegetables, which is pretty hard to do. Um, so yeah, I never ever hit my protein goal once doing the vegan diet. I don't even think I got over like 80 or 90 grams of protein a day. And I was supplementing using a vegan protein shake, which is really good. I've mentioned that in a previous video, so you should go and check that out. Again, this could be because I stayed clear of soy throughout the 30 days, and again, like I mentioned before, a lot of vegans and vegetarians get pretty much all of their protein from soy. Muscle loss, now this is very, very important to mention, and this is kind of a tricky one. So, throughout these 30 days, I have been going to physio, um, I have a shoulder injury, pretty bad shoulder injury, so I'm not allowed to lift overhead, I'm not allowed to do shoulders, I'm not allowed to do chest. Now, it's pretty much a no-brainer that I will have lost muscle over this last month, and that could be for one of two reasons. One, not being able to do upper body at the gym, and two, lack of protein. Now, this is very, very important to note, very important. My dramatic weight loss could also be aided by the fact that I have muscle atrophy. Muscle atrophy is muscle shrinkage, and that usually happens 
sometimes even two weeks after not working a muscle group, um, especially for athletes and bodybuilders and weightlifters, people that are using those muscles every single day. If you stop using them for two, three weeks, they will start to shrink because they don't need to be the size they were originally. So if my muscles are shrinking and getting low protein in, which isn't gonna feed the muscles, then yes, I will be losing muscle, and muscle weighs more than fat, so therefore I'll be losing even more weight on the scales. That's why I said scales aren't a perfect and they're not ideal form of measurement for weight loss. And um, so basically these are the foods that we lived off over the last 30 days. So hummus, low GI bread, acai bowls, smoothies, fruit, vegetables, beans, baked beans, kidney beans, soups, almond milk or any nut based milks for that fact, nut butters, porridge, pasta, rice, salads, dark chocolate, potatoes, sweet potatoes, lentils, bean burgers, however be careful that they're vegan bean burgers and not vegetarian because if they're vegetarian they'll probably have milk, cheese and all of that stuff in. Um, and lots of vegan treats from our friends over at Check Out My Buns on Instagram. You need to check them guys out if you live in Belfast because they make the nicest vegan brownies, peanut butter balls, all of that stuff. They have been lifesavers. And I can openly say that I have had occasional treats like, not non-vegan treats, but like vegan brownies and stuff like that. Just because something's vegan doesn't mean that it's low calorie. It means that it's healthy, and if it's raw vegan, that means it's probably the healthiest food you can eat. But, does not mean that it's low calorie. Remember that. Now, to end this video, I would just like to quickly say that I will slowly start introducing animal products back into my diet. I am, however, gonna dramatically decrease the amount of animal products that I consume. I think I could be a vegan forever. It hasn't been that hard at all. Like I said, it wasn't really a challenge, but bear in mind that I am super lucky. Frances loves cooking and she loves cooking vegan food even more. She did the challenge with me for a full month and she pretty much cooked me lunch and dinner every single day and she just enjoyed it. So that made it a lot easier for me. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching this. It's something a little bit different. When everyone told me that they were going vegan, I didn't even know what it was like. I watched that program and I was inspired and I decided to give it a go. It was a challenge, I found it easy, I learned a lot in a month and I had really, really good weight loss results. Definitely, definitely would recommend giving this a go. I'm not saying you have to do it for a month, you could do it for one day, you could do it for one day a week, or you could do it for a week straight. Just try it out, see how you get on, see if you feel any better, see if you feel any worse. It's always interesting to try new things. And if you haven't already, Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have lots of informational videos coming your way. And I think that's about it. See you later.